although it looks like more, I have only the one dog, and for me, one mad black lab is enough. But when you have learned the art of masking in Photoshop, then producing multi-exposure images like this will be easy. When you've learned to use masks in Photoshop, you'll be able to duplicate any one or anything all over the place. Here's another image I've put together using the masking technique. To help you get used to the idea of using this technique, in this video I'm going to show how to make a simple change to an image using a mask in Photoshop. Once you've mastered this fundamental technique, it will allow you to go on to manipulate images in a controlled and efficient manner. For example, another interesting effect that makes use of masking is the OOB effect, or OOB, which stands for Out of Bounds. These compositions make use of a mask as well. You can produce some amazing images using this technique. Just search for OOB technique on Google to see what can be done. None of these image manipulations can be achieved without a reasonable amount of time invested. They are not instantaneous effects that can be achieved with just the press of a single button, but they are all achievable with a little bit of time and effort in Photoshop. Masking is not only used for novelty effects, it is used in all sorts of images to bring out the best of what the photographer saw when he or she decided to take the picture. I'm going to start with this image that you've seen before. I'm not sure what it is about old telephone boxes that attracts my eye, but I like the way that they are instantly recognisable as a British icon, and they still turn up in such a wide range of landscapes. First I'm going to add a black and white adjustment layer. When you click on this icon, the image is instantly rendered in black and white. The new black and white adjustment layer shows up here above our original background picture and a new dialog box appears. There are lots of controls that you can play with here but you don't have to use any of them at this stage and you can just close the box. You can see that as well as adding the adjustment layer, an extra icon that looks like a white sheet of paper has also been added. This is the layer mask. I'm going to select that mask by clicking on it and you can see that the mask icon now has an extra border around it. With the mask selected, watch what happens when I paint over the image using a black paintbrush. Now you can select the paintbrush tool by pressing the B key on your keyboard. Then I want you to press the D key followed by your X key. Trust me, this has put black onto your paintbrush. There are many ways of choosing colours in Photoshop, but for now I only want you to use black and white. And this is the quickest way of doing it. At a later stage I can show you how to pick other colours. Watch as I paint over the image. There is no black paint appearing on the image, but the black is being painted onto the mask, and if we zoom in, you can see this taking place in the mask icon. In the image itself, you can see, like magic, that the original colour of the picture was revealed through the black and white image, wherever I painted black onto the mask. I'm just going to undo those random brush strokes by holding the control plus the Alt key and then pressing Z as many times as it takes to get the untouched black and white image back. OK, now we're going to use this technique to add a spot colour to the black and white image. It's an effect you may have seen in photographs and even adverts to draw attention to a particular part of a snap. I'm just painting over the phone box with my black paintbrush and you can see the red paintwork showing through. But unlike trying to use a red paintbrush on the original colour image, the details such as peeling paintwork are preserved and if I make a slip, I can easily undo the mistake by switching to the white paintbrush and repainting the areas where I went wrong. The quick way to get white onto your paintbrush is to press the X key. This swaps over the foreground and background colours of black and white and it's a very quick method of changing colours and correcting mistakes in a mask. 
So, let's recap. The steps for producing a black and white image with an object picked out in a spot colour using a mask are very easy. First, click on the black and white adjustment layer icon. Click on the mask icon. Then, select a brush with black as the foreground colour. Next, paint over the object that you want to pick out. And finally, save the image in JPEG format to share with family and friends. And here is the final result. A spot colour has been picked out in a black and white image using a mask. In an upcoming video, I'll show you how to remove annoying objects from a photo, such as that telegraph pole sticking out of the top of the phone box. Visit bigskytraining.co.uk for more video tutorials and you can be notified of new tutorials as they are posted by joining my Twitter feed from the website. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.